discuss this important question of the scope of health cooperation between China and India, which is an often neglected issue given the geopolitical tensions that have aggravated in the last year. In the past, health agreements that have been between India and China have been very fragmented and incremental. This surely needs a more move towards a more sustained response on epidemic preparedness and containment of infectious diseases in the region, not just during outbreaks and epidemics, but also out of it to prevent it from occurring in the first place. At a global level, both India and China are part of multilateral initiatives. There is much that can be achieved in working together to prevent, detect, treat, and manage diseases, firstly in medicines and secondly in medical technology. Given the respective strengths and weaknesses, there is much to be learned from each other. Health security, I feel, should be well integrated within foreign policy, given the transnational character of the spread of infectious diseases. A broader sustainable policy on health security in the region to mitigate spread of infectious diseases must be integrated within the regional cooperation framework. And cooperating in health and well-being would also contribute to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. This uh, cooperation on, uh, you know, the COVID-19 fight actually is much more affected by our political uh, ties. Uh, I just uh, uh, would like to uh, uh, share with you a, a few points. The first one is that, just as uh, uh, Madurima mentioned, the cooperation ha has been there uh, since uh, the uh, outbreak of the pandemic. You know, uh, we appreciate very much uh, when uh, we were hit by the pandemic in Wuhan. Uh, Indian, uh, you know, sent your assistance to uh, China. And when the second uh, wave uh, hit India, the Chinese government in the first place uh, expressed its willingness to help. Uh, what I would like to point here is that this kind of cooperation uh, on the COVID-19 fight uh, up to now actually is an uh, indication of our political uh, relations. Actually, uh, there are big potentials for our uh, cooperation on this issue. According to my understanding, India in the past uh, did not accept uh, official aid uh, from foreign countries. But this time, due to the severity of the pandemic, India started to you know, change the policy. But India didn't give a, a response from the Chinese offer of official aid. However, I think the even the restrained uh, cooperation uh, in the COVID-19 fight still carries significant political message. At a time when the border standoff has not been resolved and the mutual trust is severely challenged, the COVID-19 fight actually provides an arena for China and India to communicate and improve their relationship. In my personal opinion, if China and India cannot become uh, friends, at least we should not become enemies. When the political tie, uh, ties are still intense, we can start cooperation in the COVID-19 fight from the easier uh, to the more complex one. So uh, here are my some uh, suggestions. First, uh, we should strengthen cooperation and coordination in the multilateral uh, institutions. And second, China and India should explore vaccine cooperation in South Asia and Southeast Asia. They are our shared neighborhood. Uh, to bring the pandemic to an earliest end, it requires a coordinated and regional solution. Last uh, but not the least, China and India should start a health dialogue uh, and cooperation in the COVID-19 fight can be also, you know, translated into a CBM. I would always think, yes, the COVID-19 pandemic is a good opportunity to stabilize the kind of issues. But, but really, the China, especially the China social media question, why did, why did India government and the public opinion and also the media, media level, do not show any corresponding, uh, corresponding positive attitudes. This is also about mutual trust. I mean, that's where we kind of need these people to people interactions more. There's been a, a wave of impressions, uh, highly, sometimes uh, highly nationalistic, 
but at the same time a very strong emotional current has actually impacted on the general attitude within the public towards even students and things like that but the cure for that is to actually keep the uh, the at least to keep uh, the process of exchanges going and perhaps to support those who are seeking to continue their exchanges questions like uh, what professor lilia said about uh, having a health dialogue uh, i think will probably help to clear the air also what i strongly felt is that we two countries are really developing countries professionalism is needed and such a professionalism could be expanded especially in this new identified area uh, of uh, pharmaceutical co- uh, potential pharmaceutical cooperation when we come to this area of cooperation between china and india my memory would go down even to the second world war when dr uh, eris yeah, well, was was sent to china to help chinese uh, uh, soldiers in fighting against the japanese 